Vice President of the Trinidad and Tobago Automotive Dealers Association, Rondell Fields, believes the government may have seen a better return on their investment by encouraging drivers to switch to electric cars rather than CNG vehicles. Mr. Fields said the association urged the government to prepare for the arrival of electric cars by training staff and building the infrastructure to service the vehicles. Those cars to CNG, and eight years after we were only able to convert and bring in some 15,300, after we would have invested so much money in CNG for eight years, hundreds of millions. While Energy Minister Stuart Young agreed that electric vehicles are the way to go, he admitted the technology for those types of vehicles has improved over the years. At the table we were discussing, I said we have to move away from the CNG. Now, it doesn't mean, and I don't want the people who've converted and using it to think we're not going to use it. You look at Presal gas station, half of the filling pumps are CNG, so we're going to continue to support it. But technology has changed. Listen. Moving forward, Minister Young said government will begin the rollout of the infrastructure, such as charging stations in several districts. Reinjecting confidence into the local economy. This is how the American Chamber of TNT sees the 2022 budget presentation. The chamber says it sees the modernization of the country's infrastructure as essential to achieving the transition away from dependence on energy, as outlined by the Minister of Finance. Amcham asks that the tax incentives announced in the budget be accompanied by efforts to improve the ease of doing business. This, it says, will create more jobs as well as revenue for the country. The body notes it also looks forward to the expansion of the voluntary compliance program under the Customs and Excise Division so shipments can be fast-tracked.